what is the best roofing CRM that's out there? We've been collecting a ton of info from roofers like yourself, whether that be through our clients, forums, Facebook groups, blog posts, or talking one-to-one -one at conventions, and the answer is going to surprise you. The true answer is there is no one best roofing CRM, but there is going to be the best roofing CRM for you and your company, and that's what you have to focus on. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's call it as it is. The market is super saturated with technology and tools around the CRM space. CRMs exist at every price point, tailored to every goal, and each one has its own strengths, and let's be honest, a few frustrating pain points we have to deal with. For instance, larger roofing companies dislike non-customizable software, while smaller outfits thrive with a polished, out-of-the-box system. Both systems have their pros and cons, and they're going to cater to different companies entirely. So at the end of the day, the best roofing serum for you boils down to your company size, your process, and your goals. To find this best CRM, you need to be crystal clear on these points. Or you might end up with a solution that doesn't quite fit the bill, and that happens all too frequently. There are a few things you really need to consider and to hone in on the best tool like company size, processes, and future goals. So consider your company size first. Do you have a couple of people or full teams managing sales, production, marketing, and accounting? Or do you mainly employ subs or 1099s? Each situation is going to require a different solutions, so you need to be aware that the tool handles it. So let's dive into your processes next. Are you mainly dealing with residential, commercial projects? Do your team members need on-site access, like a mobile tool maybe? Uh, are there external tools that you love and need to integrate into your system? What trades do you service, or do you have multiple locations you need to actually build out and report on? Now, the last thing you really need to consider is what are your goals for the company? Do you want to scale? Do you want to maintain the status quo? Or do you want to add other trades to your business? Do you want to add multiple locations? Do you want the company to pretty much run without you? All of these options are going to significantly influence which is the best CRM for you. And you have to take that all into account. No one can answer that for you. And asking someone on a Facebook group is not gonna give you the answer. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but finding the number one roofing CRM for you depends on your business priorities, your budget, and specific needs. While a one size fits all system might seem convenient, it could also be a red flag. If we're looking at a $1 million business software needs, it's gonna differ significantly from those of a $10 million business. And that's perfectly okay. Now, you can actually leverage this to your advantage one way or the other. And one key thing you can do and every business can do regardless of size is to map out your system. I talked to the prospect the other day who was super keen to get going with Zoho, uh, which is the tool we actually consult on. He seemed 90% on board and was looking for a reason. He wanted me to tell him why to not to move forward with the tool. Um, and he wanted to do it all himself. And so as he's diving into it, asking me a ton of great questions, there were really only three people that needed to access the system. He took time off work to explore what needed to be done, how Zoho worked, and how he could leverage the system. And I provide some pointers as to how we can move forward. He asked what was the most important thing he could do to prepare for the system and make the build up easier. I told him, bar none, it's mapping out your processes on a piece of paper or a tool like Miro like we do. That's M-I-R-O if you're interested. If you can map it out and see visually how everything works and how your processes is split, you can identify the pieces you know really well and the pieces that you don't know well. And once you have that, you can go to any other software and start identifying if it can meet all of these different objectives. Now, going back to the story, the next day he messaged me and he's starting to realize a custom CRM is more work than he first thought. And he asked us what it would cost to work with us. I told him our design sessions to map out the system could cost anywhere from five to $10,000, depending on the full scope. He realized that this really wasn't for him. This tool didn't make sense at the end of the day because it was gonna take more time and money than he wanted to put into it. And that's actually okay. Now, a custom system is not for the faint of heart, but you also need to ask yourself, what is the cost to you over the next three to five years if you don't find the right tool? You have to evaluate the cost and the return on investment over the next three to five year period. 
Whatever you decide, that's going to the best CRM. The tool will keep your business running smoothly for the next three to five years. It's going to be the one that's going to take you to the next level. You have to do your due diligence and make sure that you're choosing the right one and planning accordingly. So what's the takeaway from today's video? Get really clear on your goals and processes. Take the time to test demos, seek recommendations, gather feedback from your peers to make an informed decision. And most importantly, map out your processes, whether it's on a piece of paper or on a, on a digital tool. Map out production, map out your accounts and receivables. Make sure that when a customer comes in, they're going to be satisfied by the time the job finishes. And if you need personalized guidance, book a free consultation call with our team using the link in the description down below. Now that wraps up today's video. So don't forget to subscribe for more insightful episodes from our channel. And we look forward to having you in our next videos. If you have any suggestions or questions, drop them in the comments down below as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.